So, I would like to speak about um, Amin, Yidi Amin. You know who Yidi Amin was? Yeah. He was the dictator president of Uganda between 1971 and 1979. And uh, Amin forbade Judaism. We were not allowed to express ourselves as Jews. It was very difficult to be at school. The other kids called us Christ killers. My father was once arrested for constructing a sukkah because he thought that it, it, they would not know what was going on. So during Sukkot, he constructed a sukkah and said, nah, this is my shed. And he said, this is unusual. They arrested him. And uh, he only survived after we paid the bribe to the police that arrested him. Uh, there were two people who were jailed. They would have been killed, but they were jailed for gathering the roof of our synagogue that had been blown away. And because they went to gather the roof, that was considered identifying with Judaism. So in the jail, they were mistreated, they were beaten, and they, they, they did not survive. Two years later, they both died from uh, injury. Uh, Amin was overthrown in 1979, and I like this because it was Erev Pesach. And uh, what I remember on Erev Pesach is that we had to wait until it was clear that he actually had been overthrown by a combined force of Tanzanian army and Ugandan rebels. So the next day of Pesach, we prepared uh, our seder. And during the seder, my grandfather, who was the rabbi, decided that we should drink more than four cups of wine. <laughs> and many people were thrilled by that. <laughs> and uh, the wine I'm talking about is not grape wine, but banana wine, because we don't grow grapes, we grow bananas, and it is 80% proof alcohol. <laughs> so more than four cups, <laughs> it's my memory, alive. And Pesach is still my favorite festival today. 